Γεια σας! This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greek Ambassador Mara Marinakis won one of the best positions of the European External Action Service and she was appointed Chief of the Directoral General of International and Multilateral Affairs by the High Representative of the EU for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Catherine Ashton. Maria is an experienced diplomat who has contributed to our service in several sectors, such as those of human rights and of non-proliferation of mass destruction weapons. Mrs. Ashton reports. From this position, Mrs. Marinakis will control European foreign policy in international organizations on issues concerning human rights, security and non-proliferation of mass destruction weapons. A draft tax bill introduces an expanded tax residence definition for individuals. In specific, an individual's tax residence is to be determined in principle based on the number of days spent in Greece. In this context, an individual spending more than 183 days in Greece during the same calendar year shall be considered as a Greek tax resident, thus being liable for Greek income tax on his worldwide income. Such rule applies unless a taxpayer is the position to prove otherwise. The bill will be up for vote this coming week. Tax law expert Kostas Kalideris, attorney at Zeppos and Yanopoulos, believes it will pass and will become a law. Furthermore, the bill provides that individuals who are already registered as residents outside Greece shall be subject to reporting obligations. The scope of such obligations shall be specified by virtue of relevant guidelines to be issued by the Ministry of Finance. As of today, all transactions of more than 3,000 euros between private parties and companies in Greece have to be executed using credit cards or checks only. The goal of this measure, according to the Finance Ministry, is to monitor and control transactions between private parties in the context of the fight against tax evasion. The limit of 3,000 euros will be lowered to 1,500 euros on January 1st, 2012. Attracting thousands of visitors, the international press and celebrities, Athens Fashion Week has earned its place in the world of couture. Greek and international designers united for this extravaganza at the Technopolis in Athens. The event showcased renowned Greek fashion designers and newcomers. Throughout the week, fashion shows were staged by designers. Fashion Week kicked off last Wednesday with a fashion show featuring creations by Greek designer Dimitris Dacios. A woman with a leg disability from Patras has become a golden heiress. As newspaper Cosmos mentions, she is happier than ever as her financial situation was dismal due to the crisis. Her story looks like a film since her uncle from the USA willed her all his property which amounts to 17 million dollars. The woman's husband is a municipal worker while she has a leg disability of 80% which is the reason why she left her island and settled permanently in Patras. The municipality of the island didn't seem willing to construct a ramp for her house, claiming that they had financial problems. Recently, she received a letter from the USA. It was written in English and was sent by the attorney office her uncle was cooperating with. According to the information, at the beginning, they couldn't even read it. When they managed to do so, it was a real shock for her and her family to realize that the woman was an heiress of $17 million. Moving on to the USA. US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is applauding a resolution introduced by female US senators to bring attention to women's rights in the Middle East and North Africa in the wake of anti-government protests across the region. Senator Olympia Snow, of Greek descent, is a Republican from the state of Maine. She led her 16 female Senate colleagues by introducing a resolution to emphasize the vital importance of women in the Middle East and North Africa. The resolution underscores the importance of including women in the political process. It honors women who worked for equality and basic human rights and says empowerment of women is linked to the economic and democratic potential of nations. And now some exciting news from Hollywood. 
The world-famous Greek-American comedian Tina Fey is set to publish her first memoir entitled Bossy Pants on April 5th. The book has been advertised as being written completely by her about nearly every facet of her life, from her early days as a writer to her Sarah Palin phenomenon and from her marriage to the birth of her child. It's all encapsulated in this book. Tina Fey is perhaps one of the greatest living writers on this planet and judging from the unique and fascinating life she's led already, this memoir should be one you won't soon forget. On to Australia now. John Hazisterikos, widely regarded as the most substantial figure left standing for the NSW Labour following Saturday's election wipeout, is quitting. Hadistergos, the state's outgoing Attorney General and the longest continuous serving minister in the Labour government, will vacate his upper house seat before Easter, despite having four years left to run. My job here is done, Hadistergos told the Australian exclusively yesterday. It was a very difficult four years, but I had to see it through. For more news and updates, visit us at GreekReporter.com. Have a wonderful week and remember, Greeks are everywhere.